Marlo, you gave me life this episode. Sheree, ah, Tyrone ain't no good. Drew, you just about as much of a gaslighter as your husband. And there's a lot more, honey. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Hampton Spears. I'm back with another video, and I'm here to review the real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, they're still in New York, bitch. They are in New York seeing Candy's play, and it picks up from that dinner that they had where it is revealed to Ralph that Anthony has been saying that he is gay. First off, didn't, is it just me? But the first, like, five minutes of this episode, I was literally like, haven't I seen this before? What is this? They literally played, like, the last, like, five minutes of the previous episode in the first five minutes. Maybe they're trying to do, like, a... I don't know, like, uh, like to refresh our memories because they did not have a new episode last week. I don't know, but it was still good nonetheless. Um, we do kind of pick up where um, um, Kenya walks up from the table because I guess Mark um, can't take Brooklyn that day and she's really, like, irritated with it. Candy um, basically says, well, at that point, I mean, you should just pull back. I mean... And Kenya said something that I actually really respect. And I, I was surprised coming from Kenya. She said, I can't do that. I can't do that. My my daughter needs to be around her father. That is a really important connection that she needs in her life. So I will make sure I can do anything in my power to let her or let him spend time with her. So that is really admirable, Kenya. Kudos to you. So they go back to the table trying to think oh and marlo oh you got my life when she said candy you just been doing too much with the sex shit i mean it's like too much it's too much <laughs> and kenya got real like stone quiet and candy was just doing her faces like and then she says to candy you need to worry about fucking your man. Todd is basically begging you, saying, fuck me, fuck me, and you worried about these toys that you're giving to all these hoes remote control in the damn bus. And then Candy got in her feelings and say, well, at least I'm fucking somebody. Because Marlo does not have a man at this point. Um, but Marlo, I'm surprised you're acting so prudish. Because, I mean, you were a high-class hooker for the longest time. And like you hooked up with like old white men and then them old white men be freaky as fuck, okay? So um, yeah, but Marlo, kudos to you. I totally agree with that. Ooh, you are so funny. Kenya and Sonia, um, they go out, they go like for a, a stroll in New York City and Sonia reveals to Kenya that, you know, she, you know, had a friendship with Drew, but she's, kind of not feeling the stuff that she's been doing lately. And she lists the things like putting the fingers in Sheree's face, not taking accountability, yada, 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 yada. And Kenya's just like, oh, yeah, I kind of understand. So, um, yeah, um, they go on the bus and um, they're getting ready for the play. And... Um, you know, they do the little vibrating things. I guess somebody was messing with Sonya and just doing the zzzz. And she's like, ah! <laughs> and um, Sheree, oh, forgetful ass, forgot to the remote for the damn panties, but she got them on. Uh, Marlo was like, uh, uh I ain't putting that shit on. Fuck that. And Kenya's like, fuck that. I ain't letting no random people uh, play with my vagina with, my, with the remote control. Fuck that shit. Uh-uh. And Candy, yeah. T calm the uh, sex shit down, but I really liked this play. Well, I didn't see it, but I, from what I heard from you guys, it's a good play. Um, you know, setting, kind of like showing the struggles of black men and, um, you know, our story and what we have to go through, which I really think is admirable. Good to Candy. Good for Candy. You know, I talk a lot of shit about Candy, but really, she does a lot for the community, the black community. I mean, think about it. How many jobs has she provided to the black community? Opportunities. I think she's given to charities. I like, don't think we can take that away from her at all. So good for Candy. And, you know, I just find it funny. The people that say, uh, that talk the most game about, oh, protect black women or we need to protect yeah. the black community. Everybody's racist. 
like Nini and Monique, they don't do shit for anybody else. All they do is enrich themselves. Anyway, so good for Candy on that. Um, after the play, they all meet up in this room or whatever. The husbands and them, but then the husbands get up and leave because they don't want to hear these messy ass bitches go back and forth. And this is where Sonia reveals to Drew like her issues with her, saying all this stuff. Drew's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? What issue? What issue? Da, 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 da. I mean, she's kind of disrespectful. And Sonia's like, okay, let me tell you the issue. So they have that. Um, it kind of like ends with like, Sonia not really feeling Drew at this point. I think that friendship is kind of... <clears throat> and then on the uh, next episode, I really think it goes... Because <clears throat> Sonia's mom like, uh-uh. Who this hoe? And she ain't gonna mess with my daughter. Oh, <clears throat> So yeah. Um, and then this really like hurt my heart. Um, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Well, let's get to Drew and the workout tape thing. <laughs> that website, Kenya and Marlo, old messy ass, trying to get on that damn website. It wasn't working. <laughs> and first off, honestly, Drew, how are you going to have a fitness thing? First of all, even though you've had surgery, you don't look very fit. I, look, I'm sorry. I'm not meaning to body shame you, but I'm just being honest, okay? And plus, you had a mommy makeover. It's not natural. Marlo, when she said this, I got on the floor. Marlo said, so you just, is it like a workout to maintain surgeries? <laughs> that was so shady, but that got my life. Um, I feel like, Drew, you're a fraud. That's what I feel like. You're a fraud. You're a fraud. You're a fraud. Oh, and then they played that game about who's the most famous person that's ever hit on you. And fucking Drew said it was LeBron James, but they bleeped his name out. <laughs> Drew, I don't, I don't really believe that. I'm, well, maybe, you know what? Just hitting on somebody is hitting someone on somebody. Maybe. But she, LeBron's been with the same girl since high school. But then again, that don't stop these NBA players. They be fucking every, whoo, child. I can only imagine being a basketball player. Like, ooh, all the, fe if I was a straight basketball player and I'm as like horny for girls as I am for dudes, I would be losing my mind. But I would fucking wear a condom or make sure these bitches wear fucking birth control. You ain't about to trap B, ho. You ain't about to trap B. <laughs> but anyway, so this part of the episode, the next part really hurt my heart. You know, Sheree travels fucking two hours to go to Philly, meet Tyrone at a restaurant. And Tyrone ends up not showing. She's sitting there waiting for over two hours. Um, you know, she FaceTimes, you know, Kenya, or no, she FaceTimes her daughter first and you know, she's saying, like, what does it mean when a phone rings once and then it goes to voicemail? And then her daughter's like, that means you've been blocked. And I'm like, oh, shit. And then she calls Kenya. You know, she starts crying. And I don't know if we've ever seen Sheree cry on the show, except for, like, the season four reunion. when she was talking about Bob and, you know, him not paying child support and all this stuff. Um, but I really felt for Sheree. Um... That sucks. I mean, and then um, producer said, you know, he's on the phone with the attorneys for Tyrone, and Tyrone says it violates the parole, but, I mean, um, Sheree and Tyrone have met there in Philly all the time, so it's just kind of sketch. Candy kind of brought up that maybe he's with another woman. I don't know. I, would put, I wouldn't put it past him. I, like, I don't know. I wish Sheree the best. I really want Sheree to be happy. Has she been in a relationship since Bob? I don't know. I mean, it hasn't been public. You know, I don't know. But I really want her to find love. Honestly, same thing with Kenya. You know, I talk a lot of shit about Kenya, but I want her to find love. And, you know, maybe that'll make her less evil. Um, but yeah, this was a really good episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I literally, like, I, did, I was just glued to the screen the whole time. I'm like, okay. So... Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be locked in on what's going on on this channel. Anyway, guys, I love you so much.